Brett's Play. Today I am playing through Overcooked, the new game from... Let's look at the um, credits, why don't we, to tell you that. They don't have a credit system. That's um, a bit unexpected. <laughs> um, so it is Ghost Town Studios that are making the game. I believe that is the correct saying. I apologise if it isn't, and it is Team 17 that is putting out the game. So, what do you get with Overcooked? Well, there's a lot of focus on the multiplayer, and that seems to be a lot of what other videos has sort of shown you. They want to focus on the multiplayer of Overcooked, because that is the main, you know, meat of the game. But there's more to it than that. And... I'm hoping I could show you by highlighting some of the single player options. Just wanted to check there. You cannot obviously have a versus bot in the versus mode. So that means you have to go into campaign. And the issue here seems to be. Yeah, that's what I thought. So you can't have multiple save games, which is slightly annoying, obviously, especially if you are playing through the game with somebody else. Um, you obviously don't want to be ruining your save game to someone else when you're playing about on single player. But luckily, you know, it's easy enough to explore about. The premise of the game is simple. Um, it's all about sort of saving the Onion Kingdom. In fact, if we go in here... It might be able to show me a tiny bit more story to you all. There you go. So this is the... After you complete the game, this is the story you get. So you've tried to tame a beast and it's not gone well. And we have been travelled back through time to the year 1993. But the most important thing here is look at the adorable dog! Look at the dog! Isn't it cute? Can I knock these over? Probably if I ran into them. No. Oh yes you can. Very good. So, yep, lots of things. Saving the Onion Kingdom. I'm a raccoon. So what... First of all, look at this world map. It's a beautiful world map. You can travel about where you want. And if you are playing in multiplayer, you can also just muck about and um, both try and take control of it. Now, I've obviously played a few levels here. I'm trying to think of what would be the best to be showing off. So, I didn't do well in this one last time, so let's try this one as a single player. I'm going to pick who I want to be. I'm going to be, as you can see, quite a few unlocked already. Going to be the raccoon to show off an important part of diversity in this game. You know, some games they like to say that, you know, it's hard to do female characters or disabled characters well. Well, Overcooked has a raccoon in it. And quite importantly, the raccoon did a wheelchair. So they proved that completely bullshit. Okay, I don't know any of the single player controls. So I'm just going to have to do it all myself, aren't I? I have no idea. Okay, R1 switches it. But it's too late to get up there, so never mind. Let's move the lettuce over there. Pick up the steak. Let's get that steak chopped. And then we pick up the tomatoes and put them there. So, what we want is that steak in a pan. So, voila, that's that cooking. And whilst we're doing it, let's get another steak. So, another steak. And we're cutting another steak. Very good. Let's pick that up and get over there in time. I've left them with bloody vegetables. So there we go, there's a burger down. What I need then is a bun. So there is a bun. And as you can see... Oh shit. Someone is after just that, so that's great. So we plate this up. 
would help if I didn't take the pan with you. And it, you know, it can get confusing in terms of what you're carrying, but that's part of the charm of the game is how confusing it can get. So we take this, we put that there. That's a $6 tip. Very good. We put that patty on there. Let's get him chopping up some more, oh shit. Get chopping up some more veg. Oh, balls. So obviously I've lost out there. So let's get that off the pan. And we'll chop up a tomato whilst we're at it. So chop, 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 chop. That's going down now, so let's drop down and we'll add a burger to it and we'll add that lettuce. So now we've got the burger that's next up for order. But we need to wash these plates, got to keep them clean, obviously. So we switch back and we need another burger. So let's get a burger prepped. Very good, that's the plates sorted. Let's keep this as it is, I suppose. So, cooking this burger, we need just that in a bun, but we will also be needing, as you can see on the top, lettuce. So, we'll move these tomatoes to one side, we'll pick up the lettuce, and we'll start preparing. Whilst that's going on, let's put that in the pan, let's pick that up. Shit. So there we go, another order done. Uh, shit! Ah, bollocks. Actually, no, that's fine, I think. Oh shit, apart from the fact I nearly burnt that and I have no plates. <sighs> bollocks. So I need the plate up there at the moment, which I can't do. So let's leave that there. Let's chop up some lettuce. Okay, so, not hygienic, but it's not important at this moment in time. We've got lettuce, we've got a burger. I need that bun. Eep. There we go. Uh, we're not going to get any further than this, are we? So let's throw the stuff away, we don't need it. And as you can see, that is the hectic nature of the game. It's very much rushing about trying to do stuff. But apparently, as a single player, I'm fucking wicked so there's 122 there's a three star rating something that i struggle to do in the multiplayer and the multiplayer is very much you have to be on it with each other if you sort of lapse concentration for even a second it can all go a bit pete tong so i will quickly show off a bit of the variety of the maps um not going to delve into the three stages yet i feel that's a bit too far but let's have a look, let's see what else has happened in terms of my star ratings. As you can see there, that was a fairly complicated map. There was quite a lot going on. It isn't always that complicated. It is sometimes just a case of you've got a kitchen. Oh, let's not go that one. Let's go... Hmm... Yeah, this will be a good one to show. So sometimes it's a case of you've got to keep a tight spaced kitchen sorted. So yeah, again, this is showing you how to make a burger. You're not always making burgers. There are fish and chips. There is um, other basic foods. But when you're playing this multiplayer, obviously, the focus is more on um, someone sorting the veg, someone sorting the meat. Oh, shit. But obviously it's a bit confusing at the early stages. So let's try and do everything we can. Move that. Get that chopping. I'm just going to try and play up as many buns as possible to try and make this as pain-free as possible when it comes to serving up. So let's put a burger on and we'll swap and I'll make him the food prep bitch. Shit. <laughs> so we probably, we're going to need a tomato, we're going to need lettuce for the first burger. So tomato. 
leave him over there. Lettuce. And there's a finished article. We'll get that served up and everything's hunky bloody dory. So now we need lettuce and we need meat. We've got the meat prepping all will be everything we need. Which is often easier said than done, obviously. It's obviously a lot more hectic with more players, but it's also much easier, I've found, to have more players. I would much rather have more players than less. So we've got tomatoes. Let's dump that in there. We also need some lettuce for this next burger, so we'll start chopping up the lettuce. I'll take the meat over. And we've got another burger prepping already. So that's down here. That's in the burger. That's in the burger. It's meant to be in the bloody burger. It's because it's not cooked. You fool. Okay, let's bring the lettuce over. Very good. Burger. Let's put that on. Let's bring him up. Grab that. Service up. So we just need a burger by itself here, service up. And now as you can see, we're starting to run out of plates. So we need to make sure someone's on it with the cleaning. So we'll send him over, we'll start him scrubbing. We need to get some more burgers on the go post haste. So he's got the plates, let's put them back over here and try and get what was going on last time going again. So we've got a burger prepped. Let's get that burger cooking. Let's get some lettuce chopped as well whilst we wait. And we'll get the service closer to being prepared. So clean a few more plates. He's got lettuce, which is what I need in this next burger, which hopefully, yep, perfect timing. Dump it on there, fantastic. So now we're after, shit. Okay, we're only gonna have time for one more. So I better make sure it counts. I need to be on this. 20 seconds. This is going to be balls to the wall finish here. Will I make it? That is the question. 11 seconds. 10, 8, 7, 6. Not going to make it. Bollocks. So we've got 124 score. Not a bad score, obviously. Not the greatest. Um... Let's see how many stars that will give us. Two stars, so I don't advance on what I was on last time. So that's a shame, but say la vie. Um, let's try and show off one of the more unique maps. So something that's not burger related, if pre preferably. Mm, that is burger related. In fact, I believe this one is soup. So we'll do this one yet again. I'll keep as the raccoon showing off the diversity that the developers have brought upon us. So we are making soup this time, mushroom, tomato and onion, as you can see. So the difference here is it's actually just a bit more complicated in terms of what you need to do. So I need three onions to be serving up. So onions are there. Let's get chopping. Maybe I should bring him round to the other side, but it's probably better to have him on this side for getting the right veg on the tables. Bollocks, but obviously things do this. So we now bring him round here to finish off that. And we get him in there. We now need to get that onion over here. And we need to get that soup off the boil. Which is easier said than done. But put that there. And we get chopping. And we put the tomato on there. It is quite a frustrating level just because there's a lot to be doing and the moving barriers can make it a bit complicated in terms of what you are doing. So either way, soup is up and service, four pound tip. So we need tomatoes now. So we start chopping up the tomatoes. 
we need one more tomato. In fact, we need a lot more tomatoes because there's another service of tomato soup after this. So, into the boil it goes. Shit. And we send him over here to finish off service. No, no, no. Ha! Oh, shit. Take that off boil. If you leave something on boil for too long, it basically just sets fire. Um, and then everything goes wrong. Um, probably for the benefit of showing off what that can do. I might as well show you. So, if something sets on fire, you then have a situation where your kitchen sets on fire. And you have to be careful and try and get it out as soon as possible because everything goes wrong. As you can see, fire starts. If you leave it for too long, it will probably start spreading. As you can see, this is where the fire extinguishers and the level will come in handy. You need to keep an eye out for them. And when you get hold of it, put it out. Everything's fine. But it does mean that your soup is pointless now. So you chuck it down the fucking bin because you're a terrible chef. I hope you're happy. What would your mother say, hey? So, as you can see the top corner there, the tomato is starting to shake. Um, if you look in the top, you'll notice colour bars. That's telling you how long the order's sort of been on. So that's going to be going soon. So, obviously now we are focusing more on getting the mushrooms sorted. So we'll chop up the mushrooms. But we might not even make this mushroom order. Sugar, grab that off the boil. Yeah, it looks like we might be missing out on the mushroom order as well. And there's two ways to do it. You could just chop up everything, then chuck it in the pan. Obviously, that would be a different way of doing it, and you wouldn't run the risk of stuff setting on fire. Shit, I took it off too early. Bollocks. Well, obviously, this is how you basically don't play overcooked. Um, four stars is embarrassing, but I was obviously trying to show off more of the quirks of the mechanics. Um, and as you can see, things can just go wrong if you let your memory lapse or if you let your concentration and cooperation lapse. And yeah, that is obviously a bit of overcooked in a single player environment. It's still fun. Um, the real meat and veg, pardon the pun, is obviously in the actual multiplayer game. I would, I would say maybe that is the way you would prefer to play it. But you know, I think I've shown that you can still succeed in single player whilst playing Overcooked. There's still things to do in single player whilst playing Overcooked. But you know, the lack of there is a lack of having multiple storylines going at once and maybe that could be an issue for you but it's easy enough to go back through the levels and explore them um and you know there's no way to play ai but that could always be something that is patched in at a later date you don't know in this day and age of video games really you can never really tell what a game's going to be in six months after its release it has had a patch since i've had it um not really sure what the patch has done it was already running fairly stable anyway but yeah, this has been a single player look at Overcooked. We will obviously be trying more things with the game coming out. I will be trying to post a multiplayer video as well. So do keep an eye out. And as always, just make sure you subscribe to the channel. Always appreciate it. And make sure to read what I say on pushstartplay.co.uk. Uh, that's where the review of Overcooked will be going up. And the men and women that are obviously kind enough to help me get a code for overcooked before its release but so far this this has been the single player of overcooked as you can see there's lots more maps to explore i shall be exploring it and i shall be reporting back with new videos hopefully make sure to subscribe thank you very much for your time you've been wonderful i've been brett claxton goodbye <laughs>